<laughs> Welcome to Facebook Live where we're going to get a lot, a lot of viewers tonight because we're talking about wine. Yes, it is a big, very popular points thing that people like to spend their points on. So we've got today something that was on TV uh, last Wednesday and it's new at Aldi and it's the low in calorie featherweight wine so it's low in calorie it is still 5.5 percent because i know a lot of these low calorie uh wines have got no percentage in them or beers as well um but they're 5.5 percent so first of all i know your first question how many points can i get for my milliliters so this is my mom Hi Aileen. Hi. <laughs> um, and my mum's holding two points worth of both of these wines. So first of all, this is the Pinot Grigio um, and you can have 110 mils for uh, two points. So I'll just bring that closer. Now these are large glasses. So imagine that in a small glass. So if that was a small glass, 125 mils, um, you know, that should be quite nice, wouldn't it? So my mum's going to drink it. So if you want to have a little taste. Now, my mum hasn't tried this one yet. Uh, <laughs> Kay is saying she's loving my glamorous assistant. <laughs> How is it? It's nice. Okay. So I'm not a big wine drinker myself. I am going to have a little test. So let me just have a little try. I know, uh, I'm, to be honest, I'm a bit of a Lambrini sort of person. So It's not sparkly. The, the, for those of you who did see it, it was on Lose Weight for Less, the programme on last Wednesday evening. They were reviewing wine, and this was number two because the price, the quality, the fact that it's actually got alcohol in. But that is very nice because I know a lot of the really low calorie ones, um, they, they were saying they tasted like vinegar, mm. but that doesn't taste like vinegar, that actually tastes wine. Yeah. Um, and that's two ninety nine from Aldi. So next up, we have something even more amazing, and that's the rosé. So the rosé, you get more for your points. That's why it's so amazing. You get 184 mil for two points, and this is what it looks like. So this is our quite large glass, and it's almost full there. Is it almost full? Maybe it's half full. Oh. <laughs> but it's certainly you certainly get more um, than white. Um, and this is a white, you can see, what well, it's, it's actually a rosé white, but the name of it is white. Um, and again, it's the Featherweight brand. Now, my mum has already tried some of this, so if you want to try it again. Nice and fruity. Is it fruity? Mm -hmm. So you say, I probably quite like that. Yeah, I think good. Again, it's 5.5%. And what the app is showing when I've scanned these, that there is more sugar. There's more of a sugar content in this one, even though this one's fruitier. So I will now give this a try. This one's also 2 99 at Aldi. Hi, Julie. Oh, wow, that is fruity, isn't it? Mm. Nice. Almost forgot to put a tooth in, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so she's trying to trying <laughs> trying to keep her mouth closed. <laughs> yeah, oh I really like that. The only slight problem with that, it does taste a bit like pop. <laughs> you know you buy those non alcoholic wines that are like really fruity and nice. It almost tastes like that, doesn't it? Mm, nice. Like this one I can tell it's got alcohol in. So yeah, just to finish off, you wouldn't know that I even had alcohol, which I'm not sure is a good thing or a bad thing, but that does taste good. But if you are a classic wine drinker, then that is that. And yes, Alison, you need to go to Aldi. <laughs> I'm so cruel. <laughs> In case talking about me telling everyone about you too. Right, guys, that is it for now. If you've tried the Featherweight wines from Aldi, they also do a red, uh, but we're not that keen on red, so we didn't go for... Uh, red. Uh, that's it for now. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye. Mom. Bye. <laughs>